Hi everybody. So this question tells us that a horizontal stretch is applied to the graph of y equals x cubed. Now, okay, tell you what, before we get to the remaining bit of information, let's just talk about what that means, okay? So y equals, let's apply a, a horizontal stretch to that. What that means is I'm gonna put a b value in front of the x here, okay? A b value in front of the x. Now in this particular case here, for the specific function, that's going to mean y is equal to bx cubed. Now I could, I could cube both those terms there, but the important part here is that the b is in there. Now remember, this is a, actually it's, it's asking for the horizontal stretch factor. You know what, I'm gonna be even more, I'm gonna be even more direct about this. I'm gonna redo this. Because my stretch factor in that case would have been one over b. So let's anticipate that. Let's make this even easier for ourselves here. Our stretch factor, if, it's, if the stretch factor is b, then what I see in the equation is one over b, which means my function here is going to be really x over b cubed. And so b, when I solve for b, that will be the horizontal stretch factor. Now, I know that this point, okay, sorry, this graph now, the transformed one passes through 264. Let's figure out what the, let's figure out what the stretch is. So, 264, meaning that the y coordinate is 64, and the x coordinate here is two, so two over b, and this is gonna be cubed. Now I'm going to take the cube root of both sides, so it'll get me four is equal to two over b. Multiply up by b, divide by four, I'll get b is equal to, no, can you see that? Yeah, b is equal to two over four, or b is equal to one half. And so there it is. The stretch factor, we can go right back over here now, it's been stretched by a factor of a half.